Right, I've just um, arrived at Shipham. So I've got, I'm more, I've got plenty of time to get to Winscombe. I just thought the pub, this pub's been up, but it's up for rent, uh, let now as opposed to sell. So maybe somebody has bought it. Do you know what I mean? Maybe somebody has. Look at these old... Uh, yeah. The old sewers, look. Yeah, there's a lot of work needs doing on this. It's an old pub. I expect this pub was here a couple hundred years ago when Zara's ancestors worked mined here. Remember, this is all part of Aunt Barbara's history, what I'm doing here. Um, I never got round to coming in for a drink here, for some reason. We might have done years ago. Yeah, once a very busy place. Now, like a lot of places, all wreck and ruin, isn't it? You know? Getting ready to escape in his boat. <laughs> yeah, a couple of barrels of thatchers hanging about. Yeah, I don't think it's been open for several years now. Well, if, well I mean, I know it was still open 15 years ago. But... Uh, the Miner's Arms. I think it's mine. Yeah, free house. Yeah, look, needs a lot of work. Needs a lot of work. Anyway, this is um, the village of Shipham. It's got a little shop. It's got a church. It's got a garage. Um, I think it's got a school. And. It's got a pub up here that is open, usually. Little shop. I go, I sometimes get an ice cream in there sometimes when I'm on my walk. But not today. And then we've got the pub here. Right, here's the pub. Ship them in. It did have another name, by the way. It had a different name to that in the past. Um, it's only just changed. It wasn't always called that. It had a, prop, like a proper name and it had... Um, the plaque up there has sheep on it. 1894 to 1994. What was it called again? Yeah, Saint Genery. That's the Saint Genery. I've not stopped there either. I've never really got any... I'm always in a hurry for some reason. Um, I've got to go down there. But it did used to have... Um, I've got videos of it. Uh, what's that say? I can't quite read. Ponsford's... It could be Ponsford pub. Traditional something or other. Yeah. Yeah, one day I will get round to stopping. It's just that the time is always so tight when I get here. <sighs> but I will, one day I will make myself stop and have a kite pint of Guinness. So before you do that, Sheila, can you just take some pictures, please? Yeah. There's no one sat out to take a picture, can't you? Nobody sat out. Okay, we'll take a picture from there, look. That's it. Yeah, I haven't got time to stop. If I did, I would. If I had the time, I mean. Yeah, that's new. That's a new name. Open all day. That's good. I'm glad it's safe. So many pubs are dying. It's unbelievable. They're part of the culture of the village, really, aren't they? Quite the church. They're 
dying out as well. Oh, yeah. Just uh, nearly as rapidly as pubs, apparently. Churches are disappearing. Have a look at that. I didn't spot you before. There you. Yeah, I bet they're all the way along. I didn't spot them. That's nice. Oh, gee, video. Yeah, like I was just, I forgot the video was on. I've just seen these little things embedding in the wall here. The three rabbits. I forgot I had the camera swing in there. We've just got enough time to get there. I'm walking at a steady pace, that is. I can't dawdle. Like I said, I would have stopped for Guinness, but I really can't. I've, it's the same. Whenever I get to ship them, I've, I'm normally in a rush. Because I've, I've taken so long, I'll rest the walk. To get back to Winscombe in time is like, oh God, I can't stop. I never ever thought about parking up at Winscombe and then, you know, right, somebody coming. Ooh. That's it. <sighs> Lovely. Hiya. Nice day, isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? About time, isn't it, really? We need it to warm our bones up. Are these cows friendly? I haven't been in here for a while. Yeah, they're fine. Okay, I'm, I'm walking down the bottom like I normally do, and through down that way. Yeah. Okay. All right. You know, yeah, I'd, they, they wouldn't put them in here if they were that dodgy. Oh. Oh. Better take a picture of them now, aren't you, Shell? Sure? Right, I'm carrying on, there's cows over there, look. Just met a bloke. I was, if I'd had time, I would have said to him, can you get to the West Mandit Way from here? In one of these, from one of these fields, you know. Because I reckon I don't, I shouldn't have to go down the bottom there, you know. I reckon there's a root link over there. Do you? Yeah. But I carry on the same one, do you? Just in case. It's like I said, whenever I get to this stage of the walk, just, just, whenever I get to this stage, I've usually got very little time. Now that's timed well because they're going uphill. But I reckon there's a route there. But and this is a good hour's walk yet, is it? Yeah. Well, all you've got to remember, you have got that extra quarter of an hour, I'll say, not 20 minutes, of time, as opposed to cheddar at nine minutes past. Now, before I got on the bus with all the kids, it's come along and I just got on it. Do you know what I mean? Because it was late. And it's a quicker bus in many ways, but they end up ending up having to talk with all the kids. And of course most kids are unhealthy. They all carry germs, they can't help it. They can't help it. But I reckon there's a way up from one some of these fields. The West Mendit Way will be up that way somewhere. But once again, unless I just decide to stay local around here and do a bit of exploring. I ain't gonna know. Like I think, like I said, I've lost some weight in over the past couple of years. I've lost only two stone. It hasn't been like dropped off like immediately. It's been gradual. 
but I've lost a stone over the winter for trying to keep warm. I can tell that because I can now wear my mum's wedding ring again. I also have noticed my clothes are a bit looser. But the bonus is I can actually walk better and it's better for my breathing. Losing a bit of weight around my middle. See, there's, a, there's also up here a nice walk where you don't have to go near the road. I followed these people once. But I can't remember it. And I can't, once again, because of time, I can't risk it. So I've got to do a 10 minute stretch of the A38. After I leave the beautiful quiet area, then I've got to do that. Right, over we go. And let me just put the hold on to everything. Hold on then. I'm holding on to a battery charger, a Sony camera and a Kodak and it's all very cumbersome. There's a lovely little display there, look. Beautiful, isn't it? Now I've got to be careful not to drop anything. Um, oh, try and put the battery charger in your pocket, Sheila. It might be easier. And then put that one back in that hand. Take a picture of that. That's it, that's a nice little one. I like to take pictures as I go, you see. So it's all very pretty. Look. It's all very pretty along here. <sighs> yeah, there is, there, like I say, further down here, there's actually a nice walk across several fields. It is a designated path, but I've only done it once, and that's because these two people were ahead of me, and I was able to follow them. Right, just going to turn off for a sec. Just turn it off for a minute, everyone. I reckon you go down that. I think I went down there before, and there's a route. There you mm -hmm. I think so. I do get muddled up though, do you? Yeah, I do get muddled up. This is a nice little route though. But I think you can come down from up the top there and come through this gate. Do you? Yeah. I think this is where I would probably have come out. But before, I think I passed through those buildings. Yeah, you can come down through there if you want, but there's nothing wrong with that path. What's it called this? The oh, footpath just says footpath. My arms should get a little bit of vitamin D today, should they? Yeah, should do. I think we'd have to walk up that valley, you know. Not quite sure how private it is or anything. Are you still with me, everyone? Are you bored yet? <laughs> there come a time when I won't be doing any of this, won't I? Not fast. Like I said, I've got to go on the horrible road. Yeah, it's up that way I went, but they don't have an arrow here, have you noticed? Look at that old barn there. Look. 
Look at that old barn. A classic, isn't it? A classic Somerset farm barn, that is. Look at it. I think I've been in it before. Chili, you always take pictures of it every time. Every time you come here, you do. Yeah. And there is a way up past this farm. See, there's an actual sign. 